Oblate of St. Francis de Sales. Video 6, The Visitation Monastery and the Treatise on the Love of God. In this video, we will follow Francis de Sales' experiences in the areas of Lyon, Annecy, Grenoble, and Rome. Chapter 11, The Annecy Visitation. The vision Francis had had in February 1604 at the Chateau of Sales of a special kind of religious order for women was beginning to take form. His vision is depicted in a panel of a window in the Basilica of the Sisters of the Visitation in Annecy and in a window from the former Visitation Monastery later set up in Tonon, the former chief city of the Protestant Chablais. On Trinity Sunday, June 6, 1610, in the auditory of the bishop's residence, the vision became a reality. Francis de Sales gave the first draft of the rule of the congregation to Jane de Chantal and her two companions, Charlotte de Brechard and Marie Jacqueline Favre. Another representation of this event can be found in the Visitation Convent in Paris on Rue Vaugirard. The next morning at the first house of the Institute, called the Gallery House, one of the sisters receives gifts of bread, wine and meat sent by Francis' friend Antoine Favre, whose daughter was one of them. Francis and Jane thought it would be a good thing for the sisters to take time to go out to help others in need. Here we see them walking through the arcades along the streets in Old Annecy. They would also go out to visit the sick. Francis and Jane had been impressed by the scene in the Gospel where Mary, already carrying Christ, went out to help her cousin Elizabeth, who was about to give birth. They thought those who were close to Christ should have a great sensitivity to the needs of their neighbor. The new institute's purpose would combine working with the sick and poor with a life of deep contemplative prayer and charity toward their fellow sisters in community. This map is a map of Annecy made in 1598. Its original is in the archives of the city of Annecy. The large fortress at the right is the Chateau of Neumour. Their convent, which they call the Gallery House, was at the foot of the chateau, a short distance from the lake, on the left side of the chateau as we look at it. Recent discoveries have uncovered arches on the upper floor. That is a gallery from which one could look out and see the Lake of Annecy. That is probably why it was called the Gallery House. The section of Annecy where the gallery was located was called Perrier, probably because the tower of the Chateau of Neumours nearest to them was called La Tour Perrier. It is located in the Rue de la Providence. Here is the door to their chapel. 
their chapel, its holy water font. A window with a small opening probably made for defending the building. The ceiling. A coat of arms, possibly of the Seigneur de la Pesse, from whom Francis bought the house. The idea of founding a group of sisters began to germinate in 1599 when Francis was in Rome. He was struck by a group of sisters founded by St. Francis of Rome in the 15th century. In a letter to St. Jane in 1611, Francis recalls that 12 years previously he said Mass for these sisters and resolved to maintain a devotion to their foundress throughout his life. St. Francis of Rome, also known as Francis Romana or Francisca Romana, won away many Roman ladies from a life of frivolity and united them in an association which became the Benedictine Oblate Congregation of the Tour de Speke, of the Tower of Mirrors. It was a lay order of women attached to the Benedictines. Its members led the life of religious, but without the strict cloister or formal vows. They lived in a world and gave themselves up to prayer and good works. Eventually they bought a house where the widowed members could live in community. St. Francis of Rome was canonized in 1608. At the time Francis was publishing the introduction to the devout life, and he, Jane, and Jane's brother were trying to work out the details of how Jane would actually pursue her vocation. This is the basilica dedicated to St. Francis Romana in Rome. Maybe her canonization confirmed Jane and Francis in setting up their little congregation. Francis mentions that St. Francis of Rome is a patron of their congregation. In the same letter to Jane in 1611, and that she should be their model. He compared Jane's concern for her son, Cels Benigna, with Francis of Rome's concern for her son, Battista. In Annecy, as more and more women joined them, the gallery house would become too small. The first monastery, just around the corner, on the canal, was erected. The building consisted of a church and the sisters' quarters, which were on the left side of the church. In 1613, when the offer was made to bring the sisters to Lyon, a change took place. The Archbishop of Lyon, Monseigneur de Marcaman, the powerful primate of Gaul, wanted the sisters to take solemn vows and have a strict cloister, which was the norm in those days. After much thought, prayer, and probably a dose of political finesse, Francis and Jane agreed freely and generously because they could preserve the intention of the congregation that God be glorified and that his holy love be diffused more abundantly in the hearts of these souls who are so happy to dedicate themselves totally to God. The monastery was founded in what is now known as the Belcourt section of Lyon. Many monasteries followed. Probably they would not have multiplied so rapidly in France had the change not taken place. They could have been tied up again and again in France because of legal complications and because the church there was not ready for such a new form of religious